Hey Adventures, today is the wrap up for the month of August. We are actually filming this two or three days before August ends. So we'll probably finish a couple more, but we'll mention them just briefly. The first book I finished in the month of August, and I had read most of it, I think, in um, July, that's the month before August, was The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. This would have been a reread for me, and I really, really enjoyed it. There was so much cool stuff about it that I had forgotten about because there's a lot in this book. Then I also finished Redwall by Brian Jakes. This is also a reread for me, and I will have a review up for this. I don't have it yet. Um, it, it'll be a little bit out yet. But I enjoyed it a lot more than I was than I remembered it enjoying it. I think I might have had some plot points mixed up with another book, and that influenced my previous thoughts on this book. But I have a new opinion of it now that I've reread it. And then the third book that I finished in August was *A Natural History of Dragons* by Marie Brennan. This one. It blew me away. It was so good. It was so different than anything else that I'd ever read, but it was very, very good. And I will have a review up for this soon. So the first book I completed in the month of August is Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. This is a book I started several months ago and I ended up, um, I don't want to say DNF it because I did pick it up and finish it, but at the time being I set it aside about halfway through picked it back up again this month and I finished it and I really really enjoyed it. I did need a little bit of a break, it was one that I had to be in the right mood for, but it was very enjoyable. I love the writing style that Ray Bradbury uses in this. And Something Wicked This Way Comes also had some of the best, most heartwarming depictions of family where I've seen, where it's still a flawed family, um, but it's very loving. The next book I finished was actually an audiobook and this was Half Magic by Edward Eager. Overall, I really enjoyed the book. It was uh, it was very middle grade, but it was very just whimsical and fun and had a surprisingly hard magic system, which I wasn't expecting. And there was just, I don't know, it was just really cool to how that story was built and how it drew me in. It was super short, so I listened to it in one day and it was just, just a great break from all the other stuff. Then I also listened to The Voyage of Don Treader. This is book five, I believe, in the Chronicles of Narnia series chronologically, and there's a lot in this book that I really, really love, and I it's definitely one of my favorites of the series. I don't know if it's my all-time favorite, but it's definitely one of them. I am also currently listening to The Silver Chair, and will probably have that finished by the end of the month, so that's, that's one of the ones that I figured I needed to mention. And then I'm currently physically reading The Song of Roland by, I believe, Anonymous, we don't know who wrote this, and I really, really am enjoying that so far, but I'm not quite through with it yet, and I think I will finish that by the end of the month. So the last book I finished in the month of August is Aragon by Christopher Paolini. This is a book that's like a fantasy staple almost, and it's something most, I feel like most kids read growing up, but I didn't, I had never read it, so that was a lot of fun. I did really enjoy it. I had to switch to audiobook about a third of the way through the book because I wasn't making progress like I wanted to and I really wanted to really wanted to get through this book and not let my excitement for it fade out. So I listened to it on audiobook and the narrator was really good. Um, so it was very enjoyable overall and a great fantasy. A nice, I don't know, I was really refreshed by such a clean fantasy. I guess I've read a lot of more modern adult fantasies with a lot of um, more explicit content and things like that. So it's just really nice and refreshing to have something with a more a better level of innocence, if you will. So I don't know. It was still and it was just a solid story. So it's a lot of fun. Well, I think that's it for both of us. Thank yeah. you guys so much for watching an Iron Day Adventure. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope that you had a great reading month as well. This is definitely one of the better reading months for me in terms of numbers of books finished. I didn't read all of them and they weren't all super long, but I'm very glad to have read all of them and gotten them finished. And yeah, we post videos every Monday and Thursday and we have our social medias linked in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Stay warm.